Creating gourmet-inspired meals can be easier than you think. I recently spoke with Chef Tyler Florence. Take a look. You don't have to spend hours in the kitchen to make fast and easy gourmet-inspired meals. Joining me today is celebrity chef and Food Network star Tyler Florence to share some of his culinary tricks. Welcome to Connecticut Style. It's nice to have you here. Uh, Teresa, I'm so glad to be here. Thanks so much. How are you? Great. Uh, first, let's talk about saving time in the kitchen. It seems like we're always in there cooking. Absolutely. So, 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 you know, on the weekend, especially with the holidays coming up, those are the special occasions you really kind of want to jump into it with both feet and make some fantastic food. But when it comes to dinner on the weeknights, I'm with you. You know, I, I, like I, I have four restaurants. I'm a chef. My wife is really busy too, and we have three kids. And 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 w dinner needs to be solid. It needs to be delicious. It needs to be important. And and especially something the kids are going to like a lot. So this is my second year working with what I think is one of the most innovative uh, food companies in the country. And it's called Alexia Foods. Out of Idaho, and uh, and they make great potato dishes that you can find in your freezer section at the grocery store, and I'm sure you've seen them before, and they are delicious. My kids love and crave their sweet potato fries, and it's just kind of one of those things. A couple nights a week, when you got a fresh chicken breast and some good veggies, some nice broccoli and sweet potato fries, it's just killer, and it works, and it's great, and I love them. It's really good stuff. All right, uh, let's talk about some items we should always have on hand in the pantry. So, so um, I, you know, it's actually funny you say that. Like, I, like, I always think you should have, like, canned tuna. And I, I'm going to make a really good, quick little recipe for you, but I, I think tuna's so great. You make a pasta out of it, really good, great, great casserole. Or this uh, kind of cool, simple, innovative idea about uh, sort of reinventing a classic uh, a tuna melt. So what we have here, this is uh, uh, Alexia's uh, Lemon Parmesan Waffle Fries that you, go, you throw into the oven for about 20 minutes until they get really, really super crispy, about 350 degrees. And then you want to put a big fat scoop of your favorite tuna salad recipe. Mine has uh, you know, it's a, a tuna packed in water because I think that, uh, that it tastes fresh. And then a little bit of onion, a little bit of celery, a little bit of light mayo, lemon, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil. And then put a piece of uh, 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 cheddar cheese on top of this. And it could be cheddar, it could be Monterey Jack, you know, something really kind of buttery and soft or you know, something kind of like sharp with some good aroma like cheddar. And then you want to put a um, aroma tomato slice right on top. And then, because the oven is still warm, we're not going to cook these as much as we're just going to melt the cheese down until we get what I call that gush, right? It's a nice <laughs> little soft sort of kind of gushy uh, cheese melt. So, uh, and this is going to go right into the oven because the oven's still nice and hot, right? So I'm going to drop this in, and I got one ready to go. You're going to love this. You ready? You ready? I can't wait. I want to see. Right, hang okay. So this is. I want my camera guy to get get a good shot of this. Ooh, a tuna melt uh, taking up a couple notches. Isn't that cool, right? So, so it's an innovative idea with something that you have, you know, with the, and let the grocery store do some of the legwork as far as having something kind of great. And I think this could be an awesome, you know, uh, after-school snack. I think this could be a really great lunch. I think it could be a great, you know, item for a cocktail party. Boom. Very good. All right, Tyler, what am I going to make for dinner? Mm. Quick and easy tonight. Give me one more great suggestion. So what, what do you got in the fridge right now? Uh, some chicken breasts and some frozen broccoli. <laughs> That's about it. We chicken just had a big storm here. <laughs> no, it's cool. Then how about some pasta? That'd yeah, be great, we right? could do that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, chicken, broccoli, and then uh, a little bit of like almost like an Alfredo kind of thing, with a little bit of a uh, heavy, uh, heavy cream, a little bit of um, not a lot, but a little bit of heavy cream. You can split it 50-50 with chicken stock, so it's a little lighter, but it still has a great flavor to it. And then a little bit of Parmesan on top of that, black pepper, you know, chopped up blanched broccoli, Alf you know, pasta, bang. I love that, Tyler. Thank you. Yeah. That's terrific. All right, yeah. uh, any additional information you want to let our viewers know about? Maybe side dishes or sure. Yeah, uh, well, uh, ch ch uh, check, check out Facebook.com forward slash Alexia Foods uh, and. and uh, they've got lots of great tips. They've also got a cool con not contest, but they've got this voting thing going on right now, which is really great. If you've ever been curious about how products actually get to the grocery store, uh, this is something they're working on right now. So if you go onto their Facebook page and, 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 and click that you like them, right, because who doesn't like, like to be liked, uh, <laughs> and then you get a chance to vote on some new innovative potato dishes they're coming out with next year, which is kind of cool. And it's everything from like a bruschetta flavor to a Thai flavor, lots of fun stuff to work on. All right, Tyler Florence, terrific having you here. Thank you so much for the tips and for my dinner. Me too. tonight. <laughs> Absolutely.